Finstad. I live in Santa Cruz. It's a beautiful, rainy, windy day in the North Harbor today. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I graduated with a degree in aquatic biology from UC Santa Barbara. It was a really great experience, most college experiences are. I was fortunate enough to be awarded several grants from the National Science Foundation to study marine related things. Um, kind of started off as a research diver for the university and studying the California Channel Islands. I went to Mo'orea twice for two field seasons. The first time I was studying the growth of algae on coral reefs and the second time studying damselfish dispersal patterns. Um, I really enjoyed backpacking around on my own after each field season. Even got to work on a black pearl farm for, for a short time and learn some French and Tahitian. My first job was with the California Coastal Commission. They hired me to start a restoration and education program in Upper Newport Bay where I worked with a lot of volunteers. I spent about four years studying estuaries and decided it was time to get back to my salty roots. So moved back to Santa Cruz and took over my dad's business, Worldwide Diving Adventures. So I guess you could say I'm a diving travel guide, which entails from the bottom up getting students certified in scuba, taking them to advanced levels in their training and getting them excited about marine biology and then traveling with us. Right now I'm gearing up for a trip to Palau, which is on the Marianas Trench, some of the best diving in the world. And um, a few months ago we were in Borneo where I got an experience with orangutans and um, before that, Africa. So this job really takes me around the world and allows me to follow through with my mission in life, which is to keep people inspired about marine wildlife. In this scene, I get a close look at a Galapagos reef shark. Look at that stocky body, large pectoral fins. What a beautiful animal. Part of what makes it a requiem shark is that it has a nictitating membrane. Look at the grace of that long fin swimming back and forth. Shark populations are declining worldwide at alarming rates due to overfishing. Let's check out some hammerheads, big ones. We used to see these guys all over the place in Baja in the Gulf of California, but this scene is shot in the Galapagos. The Ecuadorian government enforces regulations here, and it's not uncommon for a diver to find herself surrounded by hundreds of these otherworldly animals. We are witnessing a shift in the way people view sharks, from a sinister and expendable resource to a fascinating and ecologically vital inhabitant of our oceans. I work as a hydrologist for the city of Santa Cruz, which means I study water. And Santa Cruz is unique in that we get our drinking water from surface sources. So I am responsible for measuring flow in creeks on the north coast, and I get to snorkel in there and count salmon. I worked for some time with the Reef Check Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization. We were using volunteers to collect data underwater about the kelp forest ecosystems. And my job was to train the volunteers in how to identify marine animals, plants, and vertebrates, and then uh, encourage them to use our forum and to continue diving. I, I enjoy doing seems to have to do with the ocean. You can take me surfing, you can take me diving. Like, look at this rock here. It's got all kinds of goose barnacles and mussels here and different uh, algae. 